Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Cook Like a Master, where we take the world's greatest chefs, home cooks, and food writers, and show you how to cook like them. Today we're making Mark Bittman's No Need Bread. For this recipe, you will need four cups all-purpose flour, two teaspoons salt, half a teaspoon dry instant yeast, and two cups of lukewarm water. Mix the dry ingredients together. Stir to incorporate that. Now get the water in. Take a wooden spoon and just mix this until it's all incorporated. We are looking for a shaggy, sticky dough that we don't have to knead. This is what the dough should look like right here. All you have to do now is cover this with a cotton towel or with plastic wrap. Let it sit for 18 hours. There'll be bubbles all over the surface. This is what the dough should look like after it's fermented overnight. It's got bubbles all over the surface right here. Now the next step is to get a work surface prepared and you sprinkle about a quarter cup of flour on the surface. And then we're just gonna take the dough, turn it out onto the board Just like that. Okay. And then we're just going to fold it over itself. So get a little bit of flour on your hand and just fold it over itself just like that. You can do it another time if you want to. There we go. We're going to cover this with some plastic wrap and let this sit and rest for 15 minutes. The next step is to take your dough and just roll it into a round mass, just like that. Take the dough and put it on a clean cotton towel, make sure it's not terry cloth, flour the whole thing, and then you cover it with another cotton towel and let it rest for two hours. Once the dough has risen for two hours, Preheat your oven to 450 degrees and put a large Dutch oven inside the oven as it preheats. So it's going to be very, very hot. Go ahead and pull the Dutch oven out. And we're going to very carefully transfer the bread into the Dutch oven. Be very, very careful while you do this. We're going to Take the dough like that. And we're just gonna kinda slide it on in there. Just like that. Let's get the oven gloves back on. Let's put the pan back on, the lid. And let's just get that back in the oven. It's gonna bake for 30 minutes while it's covered and then we're gonna uncover it and bake it for another 30. The bread's been cooking in the Dutch oven for 30 minutes with the lid on. That's gonna make sure it gets a nice rise. Steam develops inside and that's what makes the dough rise well. What we're gonna do now is take the lid off and bake for another 30 minutes and that's what will give this dough a really nice brown crust to it. Here's that if you want to see it. The bread's been in here for another 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see how we did. Oh yeah, look at that. That is amazing. Best thing you can do is get a spatula. Be very careful of your hands. Go ahead and just go in there. Place the bread on a cooling rack. Let that rest for 30 minutes, because if you cut into it right now, the steam will escape and the bread will get dry. Well, we waited 24 hours for this bread, so let's see how we're doing. Get some butter on there. Give it some justice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
That is so good. I've had real French baguettes, and this is just on the same level. Artisan bread at home. That's what we're all about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Can't wait to do more videos with you. And I'll see you in the next one.